Well, it's official. I'm a suburban dad because I'm talking about parking. I'm mad about parking. And I think about another person's van way too often. Now, I promise this gets to religion in a second, but hear me out. So first things first, I don't have a driveway or a garage at my house. My home is positioned all the way at the top of this suburban hill, like I'm expecting the galls at any moment. It's part of the reason why we got the house so cheap. Well, that and the asbestos and the old power panel we had to legally agree to replace when we bought our house. But that's not the point. The point is, I park on the street like a commoner. And usually, that isn't a problem. That is, until a couple weeks ago, when my neighbor decided to start parking his church's van in front of my house. Now, I'll say at the outset, I don't know this neighbor very well. In spite of living right next to me, we've spoken twice. Once when his kid lost a ball in our yard, and once when Anna and I brought some welcome brownies to the house when they first moved in. Maybe he has celiac disease and I insulted him. I don't know. He seems like a nice enough guy, but now the van has me questioning that. So first things first, the address of the church is right on the side of the van, which means that the church has a building and that building has a parking lot a parking lot that would probably fit his giant fucking cargo van better than my humble suburban street. So now the van is a metaphor to me. It's religion taking up three tax-paid parking spaces when it could be in its tax-free parking lot next to its tax-free building. Religion discontented with everything it gets for free, parking in front of my house to feed on my goddamn parking space. And don't get me wrong, I want to give the van the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that van brings meals to people who need them. Maybe that van ferries children to much-needed services. But I don't know that the van does any of that. All I know is that the van takes things to and from a church, a condition that almost always worsens both the before and after states of the exchange. But more importantly, the van is now a symbol of my neighbor. See, I look at that van now, and I wonder who my neighbor votes for. Statistically, I have a pretty good idea. Statistically, I also know where he stands on most political issues of the day, and I do not like those stances. Now, maybe he's an exception. Maybe he's a Black Lives Matter support and gay love and friend to all, but the van is not a symbol of being those things. The van is a symbol of the opposite. The van says, hey, the people inside this van are so sure that gays are going to hell and that Christ rose from the dead that we need a building to talk about it in once a week. And that building has so many people and things coming and going that we bought a van to support the activities. And now it's here taking up your parking spot. And you can't say anything because who gets mad at a van? Well, me. I'm mad at a church van. I hate the fucking church van. I want to slash its tires and smash its windows. And when my neighbor comes down in the morning, I want him to feel half as unsafe as his fucking church van has made people feel for the last couple of millennia. (sighs) But I don't. And I won't. Because it's just a van in front of my house that I think about too often.